Hi everyone, it's Deborah. I'm jumping on today. It's Monday. I don't normally put a video out on a Monday, but I want to share with you the exciting news that I have hit 1,000 subscribers. And I wanted to say thank you very much to you all for subscribing to my channel. I hit it when I got up on Saturday morning and realized that I tipped over, so it was really great. Today I'm going to show you how to make these pockets and also stay tuned because as a thank you I have a giveaway. So let's get going. I am using 13 Arts papers. These are called Summer Rhapsody and they're a mixture of these beautiful pinks, greens and also lots of black and white in this particular pack which is really really nice. So it also has a sheet of tags and I have used a couple of the tags to make a tag for my pocket. Now when I did these tags here I backed them with some black cardstock and I put the tab at the top of them so that they can slip in and out and these are quite deep the pockets I've done. Lots of room for journaling so that is why I put a tab on top of them. Just show you some of these beautiful papers as I move them out of the way. This one's gorgeous. Look at those, they're just divine. And then this is the one that I'm using today, the other half of this one. More black and white and some gorgeous hydrangeas there. And a really pretty pink one with some roses and things on them and then a patterned one on the back in the black and white. So I have cut this piece of cardstock. It's the full 12 inch length and it's five inches wide. And now I'm just running a half inch score line down either side. You can choose to make that score line whatever size you want. It doesn't really matter. It's just whatever your preference is. I like a half an inch. I could make it smaller. Just think a half an inch is quite a good size for me to work with. Just score that down and then open it up again because I want the front of the pocket, which is this one, you can see here. I don't want it to come all the way to the top. So I'm just going to give myself some wiggle room there. And you could either score this, measure and score, or you could just use your bone scorer and fold it like that. And then I need to cut these pieces away. So I'll start by putting some Vs in there. I'm also going to cut away that top piece from the score line to the edge so that I get a nice point in the end like that and you won't see all that bulk at the top of the pocket and then with this piece here again you could either do this using your cutter or like I am just manually cutting it with the scissors and I'll just cut down that side and this side So these are a pretty simple pocket but they're actually really nice because they will hold a lot of journaling and they're something that you can make and then when you're ready you can just stick them in your journal and you'll have a nice little journaling spot. Once you've stuck that down you've got this nice little pocket to slip in. Now you could also if you want to on the others I have notched them and I will actually notch this one as well if I can get my notch in. So just eyeballing the center of that and notching that. You can ink them, you can do whatever you like to them. You can also add some more um, stuff on the top of them. It doesn't really matter, it's up to you. I've created a tag shape with a piece of manila file folder and that will become my tag that goes into this pocket. So I've got lots of journaling room on there and that means that I could just do a whole stack of these as you could and have them on hand for when you need some for your journals. So you'll probably see me using these quite soon. Now in terms of the giveaway that I'm doing for my 1000 subbies, you need to do two things. First of all, you must be a subscriber and a visible subscriber so that I can check you have subscribed. So make sure your YouTube settings are set like that. And the other thing you need to do is to leave me a comment on this video. The reason being is that I'm going to pick the winner using the YouTube comment picker as per usual. So if you don't leave a comment, you won't be eligible. The entries are open internationally 
and the prize I'm going to give you will be some things from my stash and a lot of that will include some old vintage items that I have and I will be putting together a packet of ephemera and old papers and vintage items that I've got and sending that out to you. So if you would like to be a part of that and have a chance to win that prize then please just leave me a comment. I will give you, it is now the 27th of April, I will keep the competition open until let's say the 10th of May and then I will announce the winner. I'll pick the winner and announce the winner and I'll do a video on that. So once again thank you very much to all my subbies. I appreciate each and every one of you and it's really nice to think that people are actually watching what I do and enjoying it enough to subscribe. This is Deborah. I will be back tomorrow. Cheers.